And we begin with breaking news. Phoenix police is now asking to DNA test all male employees at the healthcare facility where a woman in a vegetative state was impregnated. Hacienda Healthcare near 14th Street and Baseline says it wanted to DNA test employees, consulted with lawyers, and the lawyers said that they could not make them do it. So police served a search warrant for those tests. The 12 News I team has been tracking the newest information on this bizarre and frightening case. Tonight, we're bringing you team coverage on this. Let's start with Team 12's William Pitts, who was at the facility today, still surrounded by police. Well, are we learning anything at all? The CEO of Hacienda Healthcare may have resigned yesterday, but to many people with loved ones here, that's not enough. They're scrambling to find a new place for care. Phoenix police camped out at Hacienda Healthcare. Officers near all the doors, investigators in an RV, crime scene tape at the back of the compound. Up front, Karina Sasena trying to get her daughter out of there. It's very, very hard because she's 22 years old and everywhere else is, uh, you know, senior living. Sasena's daughter, who they call Jazzy, has a brain injury. She's been at Hacienda Healthcare for more than a year. She's still in therapy and she's trying to get better, but she does have hundreds of seizures that need 24-hour uh, care. And Sasena says everything was going fine until she heard about another patient, a woman in her 20s in a vegetative state, giving birth last month. Since then, Sasena says she's barely left Jazzy's side. I'm looking for another facility right now, as a matter of fact, just because of uh, the lacks of security and, and the safety I feel is, is uh, most important for her care. Before this week, Sasena says there was rarely even a sign-in sheet. The CEO of Hacienda Healthcare resigned Monday as the investigation continued. But Sasena says it's not just the man at the top. She's worried about anyone who could have allowed this to happen. Somebody needs to come forward and own their actions so that parents here can feel a lot better and, and move on with their lives as well because we're all concerned for this woman too. William Pitts, 12 News. Will, thank